Okay, the Sale Sharks, I, I, I believe, are taking a big risk by signing Paddy Jackson for next year. Now, his former teammate Stuart Olding, who was also involved in their, their legal trial, their, their trial in, in Belfast, which they both found not guilty on the charges they faced, could also be signing for Sale. And that's a concern for me, but I'm not going to focus on Stuart Olding, I'm going to focus on Paddy Jackson because he is a, well, international quality player. Two issues I have. One, his off-field indiscretions, and two, his use of social media. Now, that's point one, basically, all in one, by split to two. Um, that's basically what's got him. There's got to be other things going on. There must have been a build-up of off-field indiscretions that aren't in the public domain that Ulster know about, and they said, look, you've got to control your off-field indiscretions. And the trial that he faced, the charges they faced, was must have been the, the straw that broke the camel's back. I'm assuming he's had a few other um, disciplinary issues as well. But they're not in the public domain. And that's interesting. Ulster have obviously kept their disciplinary procedures closed doors, behind closed doors, but they can't obviously keep it uh, legal trials, you know, in the court of law behind closed doors. But there must have been other off-field indiscretions for these two players. And they must have been going, look, you're paying a week's wage is fine. You're going to sort of give up your match fee for that one. You know, his use of social media as well is what finally, I do believe, cost him his job. Sale are taking a big risk with these two players. They're definitely taking a risk with Paddy Jackson. Definitely. Now, it's also a public image thing as well. It, he's going to divide opinion. Now, I'm not talking about the trial because that is in the past. He's been found not guilty. We have to be careful as, as people um, on social media how we talk about legal, ongoing legal cases or recently closed legal cases because there's chances for appeal process. Um, they've also, these two have also had a, a civil lawsuit against the BBC and they've been ordered by a court to pay the BBC £20,000. That's as much as I think I possibly could get away with saying. So there's still ongoing legal things to do with Paddy Jackson's time at Ulster. I think Ulster and the, and the RFU of Ireland, the Irish Rugby Football Union, have basically said this is a, a PR disaster for us, that we're paying him a lot of money between us. I think it was nearly on seven hundred thousand pounds or seven hundred thousand euros a year between the, the club and the centralised contract from the Rugby Football Union of Ireland. That they've gone. This is just a pure disaster. We cannot have this. This is bad. A bad image for Irish rugby. This has got to stop. So Sale are taking a big risk, and they don't have a centralised contract to cover them for his entire wages. They're going to be paying his wages in full, and that's a big salary cap here. So I'm interested on Sale Sharks fans' views on Paddy Jackson signing with them. Uh, I'm also interested on Irish rugby fans' views on Paddy Jackson signing with Sale. Now I know he's a very talented player. And I've, I've, I've had the you know I've seen him play uh, in the Six Nations, and I've seen him play in the Pro 14, and I've seen him play in European rugby. He's a very talented fly half. There is no doubt on that. But off the field, clearly there are problems with his temperament, and there's problems with his behaviours. And I'm seeing this a lot more in sport. He's not the only sportsman, and there's a few sportswomen as well who have temper tantrums and and off feet and off away from the sport issues. Hope Solo, prime example, women's football player, plays for the US. Um, prime example of someone with a very checkered off field um, and away from the sport. You know, personal history, indiscretions there. This is more and more common. It's happening more and more often. Are we paying these young athletes too much too soon? And does that lead to like some kind of bad behaviours in there? They're, they're getting more arrogant. They're, you know, does that cause it? So I'm interested on in that as well. But this is a big step for Sale. And if Stuart Olding joins as well, that's a big concern for me because they appear to be like a terrible duo. They appear to be partners in crime, and they clearly can't behave together. Even though they're best friends, they cannot behave. Um, hence why they ended up in court. Hence why they're paying the BBC twenty thousand pounds each in court costs. Um, for their failed civil suit. Clearly there is an issue with these two. That's my personal view on it. That's what I'm seeing is these two are, are clearly thick as thieves. And they haven't quite matured enough as adults. They're clearly still too juvenile in their in their approach to life. And there's some serious things that these guys, I mean, the sailor got to sit down with them and say, this is what's going to be. If you misbehave, you are in serious shit. But what? Let's bomb there. No, but Sale, seriously, though, have to sit down and say, lay down the law straight up. If you want to play for us, you've got to abide by our code of conduct. If you even step out of line once, you're done. Because clearly, there are off-field issues here. 
clearly Ulster dealt with it behind closed doors and until it reached a point where they were on trial for something. But there clearly had been a series of incidents because they were found not guilty. So we'd have thought, OK, Ulster have gone, right, you're found not guilty, we can still work with you. There was clearly a number of incidents leading up to what led them in, to be on trial uh, with indiscretions. Um, and I think the, the use of social media really hit the nail on the head there. So there's clearly a, a behavioural issue with these players. But I'm, I'm not an Ulster fan. I couldn't comment on it. But it appears that Ulster um, had had enough. It appears that the Irish had had enough, as in the Rugby Union of Ireland had had enough. How long will Sale keep faith with them? That's what's interesting. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. That's my personal view on it. Um, I'm not defending him. I'm not trying to go after him. But it appears to me, on face value, there's some issues with his temperament and Stuart Holding as well there appears to be issues with these guys off the field and as as a sports fan as a rugby union fan that concerns me that they that this is going to give the sport a bad image that it hasn't really had until recently with certain players it's actually had a very good off-field reputation until very recently in the last couple of years and then the stories are coming out about poor team culture poor misbehavior by certain individual players and certain individual teams it's becoming more common but anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, place your comments below, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.